Hey everybody, just a quick video here just to address a couple of the things that came up since my tribute video to Nicola Bully. Firstly, I stand by the the, the photos. Um, a couple of people have said they look, the mound doesn't look high enough and stuff. Look guys, I'm not going to question that now, okay? I think that the case has gone a little bit like a circus and I'm not saying that anyone is doing anything wrong, but I do believe that people are going down rabbit holes that may lead to nowhere. And I think it will just send us a little bit nuts trying to, by questioning absolutely everything with this case before the inquest comes out. Now, do I believe that we're going to get answers? No, I don't. And I think once the inquest is out on Nicola Bully, that is when we can really pull things apart because we can pull their official narrative apart. But right now, it's more difficult because we don't know what they're going to say. So this is why I think that we need to pull back on that exact case, just that specific case for a sh until the inquest, okay? Um, seeing those photos really hit home, okay? And I know, like, it was... You, a lot of, I'd say like 90% of people have said to me how that was difficult to watch and how they, they really thought it was a lovely tribute. And I thank you so much for the kind comments. Did my best, say, choosing the music and so on. I wanted to do it just right. And I was in tears making that video. No way could I have spoken over it, which is why I didn't. Um, it was really difficult to make, as I can imagine it's difficult to watch. So I, I, I feel like, this lady is, in, is is buried now and we're waiting for the inquest and I think we should just hold back on some of the some of the trains of thought and respect that. It sort of hit home that this was real, seeing the, the grave. Um, some of the questions that came up were the flowers look too fresh. Now, the, some people are saying that the lady took the photos just after the funeral and she's held back. No, the photos were taken last weekend, okay? That's what I was told by the subscriber. If I'm wrong, please correct me on that. But I'm pretty certain that you said that you, if you're listening, um, took them last weekend. Now, the reason why people are questioning uh, why the, the flowers are only got Nikki and Mummy and where's the other flowers? Now, I'm guessing, and, and why do they look so fresh? Now, in my view, those flowers are not from the funeral. Uh, those flowers have been done since the funeral for Mother's Day. And I believe that one was would be from maybe the subscriber can, can let us know because I'm guessing she's seen the card on those flowers with the name. Uh, they would have been dead by now after two and a half weeks. So I'm guessing that they're new ones for Mother's Day, but I may be wrong. Um, the earth, people saying the mound doesn't look high enough. Um, there is grass on top of that, you can see that grass has been laid on top of that if you look in one of the photos and also it has been a couple of weeks so it's probably rained and so on. Um, some of the other questions, have I been threatened by the family? I can confirm no I haven't. Have I been threatened by the police? I can confirm no I haven't and people need to stop making these rumours. Oh it's shocking Penny's been, no I haven't okay. No one's threatened me no one's paid me off or anything like that. Anyone that knows me has been with me for longer than this case knows that just isn't a possibility. I'm not the sort of person that will just shut up. Now, if someone if someone came to me and says, look, you know, uh, can you hold off till the inquest? Like a family, like actually a family member got in contact with me, not ranted at me under one of my videos, which I've had a few people do saying, I'm friends of the family and I'm, I'm going to get you. Okay. That's whatever. If someone did come to me, I would tell you if the police got in contact with me and said, can you, can you pull back? You know, can you do this? Can you do that? I, I would tell you guys, all right, I'm not the sort of person that would just do that. Now, I understand looking back on it, it went from me doing a clue, number seven clues night to, you know, telling you what's in the works to then the next morning making that video and then just saying I'm, I'm stopping. And I, 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 un I totally understand, like, why that would look like that. So 
but yeah before people start you know start commenting under my videos uh you know that that i've been threatened or whatnot you should just you know let come to me and, and let me explain um but partly my fault for doing it that way but please understand that seeing those photos and putting that video together really affected me um it really did and I, it was just like this this crazy like realization oh my god i need to stop now because this lady's in the ground now some people are saying that she isn't in the ground and it's a fake grave um who knows okay where does this end you know i don't want people going and digging it up to see this this is like this is how bad it's got now and let's just let's just look at it like this if yeah the whole case stinks i agree right if this is if she's really passed away, which I believe she has, and I do believe she's in that grave, maybe wrong, but you know, I'm telling you what I believe. If she is in there, what the hell are we doing to her girls? Okay, so I, I think to, it, that seeing that grave made me think of what if that was me in there and I got taken out, or you know, I'm not going to commit suicide anytime soon, but what if that happened to me? And people were doing the same thing and saying, oh, did she, she exist? Now, people know I bloody exist, but, you know, um, you know, was this a psyop? Is she in witness protection and all this stuff? Is she, is it a big, is it, you know, you, you I just, I, I, I couldn't bear thinking about it. So that's another reason why I wanted to, to it was just, the, it was the realisation, seeing the grave, making that video that really, really, really upset me. And this has been like dominant on the channel for the past like five, six weeks. And it was just a realization and it just really, really hit me of of what's this is someone someone's mummy and someone's daughter and someone's sister. So that is why it was the realization. But in hindsight, I do believe that we people may be right that we do need a, a a show, one more show. And you've voted overwhelmingly for that show. So we are very democratic on here. And I do put votes out to you guys and I do go with the vote. So the vote is that you want one more show. So we're going to do that. OK, now that the, the next show, there will be one more show. It will probably be a bumper show. So, uh, between two and four hours we'll see and what we will do on that we will we won't really go into anything new as such but we will cover what we've already covered possibly we'll look at a couple of new things and at the end of it I'll give my conclusion of what I think so far without the inquest okay um so that's what we'll do we'll do one more show now when it's going to be i don't know let me have a quick look and speak to paz because he we've got a light uh, an open panel plan tonight i also am aware that this may overshadow that so i'm going to see whether that can be moved but bear with me i have got a show planned for sunday night um on the curious bunny if you want to come over it's going to be on the number 23 the number 23 does have significant meaning. So the the reason why I'm saying that is because Nicola was found on the 23rd day. Michael Brooks, who was the, the guy that was found murdered, well, we don't know if he was murdered, was uh, who Jason Rothwell says he found, was found on the 23rd day. Nicola went missing near the 23 bench. There's there's a few twenty threes in there. Um, again, it could be nothing. It could be a coincidence. Coincidences do happen. I happen to put my tribute video out on the twenty third of March, and people are now saying that's a conspiracy. It was just a coincidence, guys. Honestly, um, and this is why some of the things that have been said have made me realise that people will literally find a conspiracy in absolutely everything because I know for a fact that that wasn't a conspiracy. I didn't even realise, I didn't even think about, oh, it's the 23rd. But so that, I can guarantee, is not a conspiracy. Um, the alarm system that's going to be coming out is on the 23rd of April as well. So that's another thing. So there's lots of 23s going on and they do have significant meanings. So I will be making a video, sorry, apologies, a live stream, 
on the meaning of the number 23 in various religions. It is very prominent in Islam as well. And it is used in numerology, Freemasonry and, and other religions, even Christianity. So we do need to look at that. Moving forward, um, after I've done this last stream, which will be like clues and conclusions, I do want to just say that I'm not stopping anytime soon on that area. I just want to clear this up. Just because we're not going, um, we're not going to be doing more clues and more investigating on the actual Nicola Bully case until the inquest. Once June comes, I will be picking that inquest apart with a fine tooth comb. Respectfully, as always, we are respectful on this channel. Some of the other channels are going too far, um, I believe, and being being very, very, um, how can I put it? They are that desperate for content that they will make up anything, be misleading, blatantly lie to get content and the shock factor. And 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 I really, really don't agree with that. And we will never do that here. I've always said I'm only doing this because you guys keep sending me stuff. Um, there's um, this not a case of I'm looking for stuff to do. I'm actually having to hold stuff back. If I if I if I went on everything I've been sent, we'd be going for months and months and months. So for those channels that are clinging on to this, just move on already, okay? Uh, or actually do some real research and credit your researchers. Credit the people that are actually doing this for you for free. Um, there's that, okay? I just wanted to get that in there. So some of the other things I want to cover uh, what we're going to be doing moving forward. So, as always, we'll be doing the normal stuff, the bunnies, my rescue rabbit work, and we'll also be um, doing the news shows. But I, I've, I do enjoy true crime, so I am going to be covering more true crime cases. But in the immediate future, I want to look on the murder cases in that area, so around that Lancashire, that part of Lancashire, you know, the Blackpool, Thornton Cleveley, Cleveley, I got it right. Uh, St. Oakland Wire, all that area there. So not so not not Nicola Bully, actually Nicola Bully. And Nicola Bully talk isn't banned or anything in my channel. I'm just not going to be focusing on it the way that other channels are, um, and the, the way that we were. Okay, but in that area there is something going on, and I believe there is some sort of either serial killer or some sort of ritualistic murders going on. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be taking it in a slightly different different angle. And it is more researching what is going on. I'm going through the National Crime Agency, um, looking at uh, unsolved murders uh, or unexplained deaths in that area. Um, looking at people that have gone missing in that area and seeing if there's any sort of interesting dates we can compare to with the, the ritualistic calendar. Things like that. So not focusing on Nicola Bully as such, because as I say, we don't think we can go much further without the inquest. But we're not going to be moving away from that area at all. We're going to be still looking. Now, Derek Clayton, is he still missing? Because he's disappeared off the missing persons list, which is bizarre. Uh, is he even still missing? There's a couple of others as well. Now, Jodie Atwell is an interesting one. Um, I'll be discussing her on the uh, one of the live streams coming up. And we've also got Peter Bagwell, Be Bagwell, Peter Baglin, sorry, my apologies. Peter Baglin as well, who, again, we're waiting for the inquest, but that was another really bizarre one. His remains were found in undergrowth near the canal, near where people go all the time and throw beer cans. And it's bizarre that he wasn't ever found and until 10 weeks when people were combing over that area. That's another one that is bizarre. So we've also got Daniel Hive still missing. So there are people missing in that area and there are known murders in that area. So we're not we're, we're not going away from the area and, and the cases. We're just not going to be focused on Nicola Bully. OK, um, again, until June. And then we can look into it properly, but I'm not moving away at all from that sort of area the number 23 the numerology of it um and and the how you know there's there's a lot of freemasonry in that area we're going to be looking at the mp as well uh sir ben wallace 
who is the MP for that area, St. Michael and Wyre. Very, very interesting character. So we're going to be going down those roads. So there's lots going on in that area. So don't worry. We're not we're not leaving that case um, as in the, the entire area. We're just going to be leaving that exact case for now until June. So cleared that up a little bit. Haven't been threatened. I'm sorry it was so abrupt. I just got upset and it just sort of hit me. And I thought we need to take a step back because I think we can all get too consumed with this. And we may be seeing things that aren't there. So let's just take a step back for now. If she is in witness protection, then we need to stop anyway. That's what some people are saying. If it is a PSYOP um, and, and it's all fake, then eventually that will come out as well. Because some of these people, um, when it's all died down, are going to start appearing elsewhere. We know this. So let's just hold back for now on that exact case. Let's start looking at what's going on around her, what what was going on around her, other people going missing, um, you know, satanic paedophile rings. There's all sorts of stuff that, you know, we need to be looking at that that is going on and uncovering what is going on. So let's do that. Um, thank you again for all the people that have donated to the laptop. Um, thank you so, so, so much. I'm so grateful. Uh, thank you to all the researchers who, who are amazing. And I'm not even asking them to do it. They're just doing it. Sorry if I've waffled on too much. I didn't mean to make it this long, but obviously there's quite a bit to get out. So there will be one more show. It will be covering all the clues to, so far and a couple of new clues. And we will be giving conclusions and so on and so on. And then we will be going down different lines of inquiry around that area. So bear with me while I get a date for that. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. Um, and that's it, really. I just wanted to make that short. Well, supposed to be a short video. Waffled on. Anyway, take care, guys, and I'll see you all very soon. Lots of love. Bye bye.